Are you wondering how to add a Gmail alias in Google Workspace, formerly known as G Suite, and set this alias up so you can send and receive emails? If this sounds like you, then stick around. We're going to show you exactly how to do this in this tutorial. Hey team, welcome back and thanks for popping along if it's your first time here. Now today I'm going to guide you through a brief tutorial aimed at helping you create and set up your Gmail alias so that you can send and receive emails through this new alias. Now this beginner's tutorial is for users on G Suite or now known as Google Workspace. Okay guys, now just quickly before we dive into our account, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that quick note, let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. <music> Okay, so firstly, what we need to do is create an email alias for our Gmail account. Now to do that, we need to head over to our admin account for our Google Workspace or formerly known as G Suite. So to head over to your admin, simply head over to admin.google.com or if you like, navigate over to your apps over on the top right, then come down and navigate down to admin. That is if you are admin. If you do not have admin access, then you're going to have to get in touch with the admin and ask them to give you that permission. Okay, so once you're in your Google admin, what we need to do is just navigate over to users, then come down and select the individual that you want to create an email alias for. So we're going to create an email alias for myself, then simply click on user information. Then just navigate down to alternative email address, email alias, and select here. Then here, as you can see, we already have four email aliases that we can use. So I'm going to come down here and actually create a new alias. And I'm going to name this alternative email or alias help at cindio.co.nz. And then once you've added your alternative email address or email alias or multiple, then what we want to do is navigate down and click save. Then, as you can see, our alternative email address has been updated. If we navigate up here, we can see that we have five email aliases or alternative emails that we can use. Basically, people can enter in info at cindio.co.nz or sales team solutions help at cindio.co.nz, which is the alternative email or email alias that we just created. So they can type these in and send an email directly to our main email at stuart at cindio.co.nz. But now what we want to do is be able to send from help at cindio.co.nz because if we reply to an email that someone sent to help at cindio.co.nz, I'm going to be sending an email from stuart at cindio.co.nz if we don't set up this email alias to be able to send. So that's what we're going to do now. So what we want to do is head over to our Gmail account and then back in our Gmail account or inbox, what we want to do is navigate up to settings and then come down to see all settings. And here we want to simply navigate over to accounts and come down to send mail as use Cindio Media Mail to send from your other email addresses. So yes, that's exactly what I want to do. So navigate over to add another email address. And over here, just enter the email address that you just created. For us, that is help at cindio.co.nz. And as you can see, we have treat as an alias selected. Then come down and click next step. And just like that, we can now send emails from this email alias. And you can go ahead and add another email address if you want. You can also come down here and where it says when replying to a message, you can select reply from the same email address to which the message was sent or always reply from default address. Currently, stuart at cindio.co.nz. So I'm going to leave that as my main account. And if I want to send an email from help at cindio.co.nz, then I can select that account. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So if we navigate over to compose and then come down to from under our new email that we want to create, if you select the down arrow, we can select our email alias that we just created, help at cindio.co.nz. So just like that, my contacts, my customers can now send emails directly to this email alias, help at cindio.co.nz. And if I like, I can respond via this email if I like. 
and that is how you can set up your email alias one or more and be able to receive and send emails from that alias and there we have it guys that is it for today's brief tutorial you should now know how to create an email alias and set up your gmail so you can send emails from that alias now if you have any questions about this tutorial make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you for watching this video through to the end if you got value make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and that way i'll see you in the next tutorial take care guys